Hello, welcome to Revenant Reads. I'm Ben, and today I'm going to be talking about my TBR for the first month of the five month mission of Book Trek 2021, focusing on the original series. So, Book Trek 2021 is a five month long celebration of Star Trek through its fictional literature. Uh, there are hundreds and hundreds of Star Trek books that have been written over the past few decades. And um, yeah, not all of them are great literature at all, uh, but they are almost always fun. And uh, that's really what this is going to be about. Um, this is about exploring uh, these different iterations of Star Trek through the books. Um, I have some wonderful co-hosts who are going along for the journey. And also, uh, whoever else wants to join, uh, please, please do so. I'm going to leave the the link for the announcement video down inside the description. Um, and the month of August, we are focusing on the original series. Um, Kirk, Spock, McCoy, and company. And anything that really takes place within the original five-year mission, so the um, the television run in the 1960s, the animated series that came out in the 70s, um, anything from Star Trek The Motion Picture, which came out in 1979, all the way up through Star Trek VI. Uh, any books that take place within that that spectrum of time uh, are fair game. Um, and we're going to be reading and talking about these ones for August. Next month, um, or the following month in September, we'll focus on The Next Generation. So what I plan on reading for August, there are a couple books I'm definitely going to read, and then there are some that I am possibly going to read, depending on how much time I have. And also, I'm not much of a mood reader for the most part. Um, however, when it comes to things like Star Trek, I am sort of a mood reader. Um, I got into Star Trek books originally uh, a few years back. Um, I had a friend who was really into Star Wars, and he had been reading different Star Wars, but I think he was reading the Thrawn books. Um, and he was talking about how much he was enjoying them. And this is at a time when I wasn't really reading any fiction. And I've been kind of lukewarm on Star Wars for most of my life. Uh, but I've always been, you know, or at least for a good part of my life, a very big Star Trek fan. Uh, and I have already been going to library book sales. So I started kind of inspired by my friends, the conversation with him about Star Wars, just kind of seeing if there were any Star Trek books at these book sales. And sometimes I find tons. Uh, I can walk out with a bag full. Um, so... I started picking them up and reading them and realized that I really enjoy these things. And they kind of became my summer reads, um, especially after I started teaching. Uh, once school was over, generally, I'd know it was summer because I'm going to go grab a Star Trek book off my, my TBR bookcase. <laughs> I, have a, I have a whole bookcase just filled with Star Trek books that I haven't read yet. Um, and often it would be kind of a mood pick. Uh, just what do I feel like? Um, grab it and start reading. Uh, so I'm doing kind of, I'm, I'm still allowing myself uh, some room for that. Uh, this month. But the ones that I'm definitely going to read, this is actually a little bit of a mood pick because I wasn't originally going to read this, but I figured I have to read this. <laughs> uh, so this is um, Star Trek, the motion picture novelization. Uh, it's the only Star Trek novel that was written by Gene Roddenberry, who created Star Trek. Um, the story itself was by Alan Dean Foster. Uh, and then based on the script, Gene Roddenberry um, he wrote he wrote this novelization himself, and um, this also is the first I think pocket book uh, publication of Star Trek. Um, this is a a book club edition uh, from 1979, and just seeing if it actually has. I don't think it actually is going to say pocket book, is it? That no, just is. Oh yeah, uh, published with the arrangement of pocket books. Um, it was. I think two years after that, that Pocket Books really started kicking off their the rest of their Star Trek books. And even to this day, they're still publishing them. So this is really the first salvo <laughs> in a decades-long barrage of Star Trek books that have been put out by Pocket Books. Um, so that's, there's, those are all different reasons for why I would read this. Um, if you haven't seen the motion picture, this is kind of... Um, it's some years after the original five-year mission, and uh, there is a major threat to um, to Earth. So Kirk, um, who has an, who is an admiral, um, has to 
kind of take control of the Enterprise again, and the crew comes back to, to face this threat. And they haven't seen each other for years, so they're trying to kind of get used to each other again. Um, and it's, I think for non-Star Trek fans, uh, people find this fairly boring. Um, it's certainly closer to 2001 A Space Odyssey than it is to um, Star Wars. Uh, but I think that there are some really good things in this movie, actually. And, um, you know, and even for me, some parts move a little bit slow. Uh, but overall, there, there's some great moments. Um, and I do think it's actually still a pretty decent movie uh, in itself. So I'm looking forward to reading this novelization to see what differences there are between this and the movie. And my other reason for this is because one of the books I really wanted to read, um, I've just been really curious about it, um, that I'm definitely going to read is The Lost Years by J.M. Dillard. And this was published in, let me just see here, 1989. So 10 years after Star Trek, the motion picture. But this book is meant to bridge the gap between the five-year mission that we saw three years of in the 1960s in the television show and Star Trek, the motion picture. So this is going to explain what happened in between. Okay, how did Kirk become an admiral? Uh, you know, why is uh, Spock doing the, the Kolinar, where he's going to purge himself completely of any kind of emotion? Um, these are the things that we see in the very beginning of Star Trek The Motion Picture, and this is going to explain how we get there. All right, so this is the second book that I definitely want to read, that I, I am reading. There's a third one that I'm definitely going to get to this month. I keep saying this month, I mean August. Uh, and it is the first book in this four-part invasion series. So I believe these were published around 1996. And this is about an alien invasion, and each part takes place within a different iteration of Star Trek from up to that time. Uh, so Voyager being the last. So the first one, uh, we have an alien invasion force coming in during, of course, Kirk's time. Uh, and it, this whole invasion kind of takes place over these these three, uh, I'm sorry, these four iterations, and we're kind of talking a little bit like two different timelines then. Um, and I thought, you know, th this this five-month mission, uh, we're going to be reading Star Trek, the original series in August, Next Gen in September, DS9 in October, and Voyager in November. Uh, so this is a perfect time to actually just go through and read this series, one each month. Um, let me just read you the back of this one real quick. It says, um, this is First Strike, Invasion. Um, this one's by Diane Carey. It says, Long ago, even before the days of myth and legend, our worlds belonged to them. Now they want them back. Captain Kirk is stunned when the Federation receives an urgent plea for help from the Klingon Empire. A mysterious starship has invaded Klingon space and resisted all their efforts to destroy it. Establishing contact with the stranger ships, ship, uh, Kirk discovers that it is only the vanguard of a vast alien fleet obsessed with conquering the Klingons, the Federation, and the Romulans, and all who dwell in the space that was once their own. The invasion has begun. So those are the three that I'm definitely going to read. Uh, and then if I have time, because at the same time this month, uh, again, August, I'm going to be reading um, Herodotus' The Histories, uh, which is a thick, thick book. Um, I'll be reading that as well. But if I have time, some of the other things I'm thinking about, there is... Triangle. <laughs> this is the last book by the team of uh, Sandra Marshak and Myrna Colbreth. I haven't read any of their other stuff. I think their stuff is kind of a little bit controversial. Um, but this took inspiration uh, from Star Trek The Motion Picture, I think, especially the novelization. Um, so it's a fairly short read. It's less than 200 pages. Uh, but I thought I'd give some early Star Trek novels a try, and especially one that is directly related to the motion picture. So that's a possibility. Another possibility is um, My Enemy, My Ally by Diane Duane. Uh, this was published in the 80s. Let me see if I can find the actual date here. Um, 84. And this is the first of the Riansu, I don't know if I'm saying that right, series that really kind of looks at the, the Romulan Empire. Um, this and the second one, uh, The Romulan Way, um, I think are supposed to be two very good books. Um, I don't think the rest of the series is supposed to be nearly as good, uh, but at least this one and the one after it are pretty good. Um, so that's a possibility. 
another one that I'm thinking about, which seems like a lot of people who are coming along with the ride for us, uh, based on Steve Donahue's recommendation, uh, are going to be reading this, uh, Strangers from the Sky, um, which Steve Donahue had said is a very good uh, entry-level book for people who haven't read Star Trek before. Um, published in 1987 by uh, Margaret Wander Bonanno. Uh, I actually don't know a whole lot about this one. Um, but, again, th this this is a possibility. And uh, I think that we'll, I'll be hearing a lot about it <laughs> next month. It uh, seems like a lot of a lot of people who are taking part in this, again, are, are going to be reading this one. So just to just so I know what they're talking about, I might also pick this one up and read it. Um, so that's, as it stands right now, my TBR for the first month of Book Trek 2021, okay, uh, the TOS version. Um, so these are the three I'm definitely going to read. And uh, we'll see if I get to the other ones as well. But uh, if you're participating in Book Trek, I'd love to hear what you're going to be reading as well. Um, there's still plenty of time to uh, to take part and to join. I did also create a Voxer group for the month of August for the TOS. Um, I'll leave my Voxer handle down in the description. So if you want to join that group, uh, contact me, let me know, and I'll, I'll add you. All right. And I hope to have some really good conversations about Star Trek uh, next month. Um, so anyway, um, I hope you can join us. And uh, thank you, BookTube.